रिमोट डिक्शनरी सर्वर और रेडिस इज अ फास्ट ओपन सोर्स इन मेमोरी की वैल्यू डेटाबेस टू अचीव टॉप परफॉर्मेंस रेडिस वर्क विद एन इन मेमोरी डेटा सेट विद एन ऑप्शन टू परसिस डेटा टू डिस्क एज वेल एज अ सोनिक यूजर यू मे बी अवेयर दैट सोनिक ऑल्सो यूजेज रेडिस टू बी इट्स प्राइमरी डेटा बेस फ्रॉम ए नेटवर्क ऑपरेटर्स पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू सोनिक डी बी रिमेन्स ट्रांसपेरेंट एंड मे नेवर नीड टू इंटरेक्ट विद इट बट फ्रॉम एन एप्लीकेशन डेवलपर्स पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू पीकिंग इन टू सोनिक डेटा बेस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर एग्जाम्पल डेवलपर और टेस्टर ऑफ सोनिक टेलीमेट्री एप्लीकेशन लाइक मानसून विच पुल्स डेटा फ्रॉम सोनिक डी बी मे वॉन्ट टू ब्राउज सोनिक डी बी वेरी फ्रिक्वेंटली टू नो वेयर टू गेट विच मेट्रिक और टू वेरीफाई दैट एप्लीकेशन शोज द करेक्ट डेटा Hello my name is Kamal Bhatt and I am working as a software product manager at Stodis. In this video I will speak about the ways to interact with Redis database using couple of GUI tools. To browse Sonic database there is Redis CLI already available on Sonic switches. But that's not so user friendly when it comes to developers productivity. And UI like available for other databases may result in higher productivity for developers such ui tools try to access sonic redis database from outside of switch but by default sonic switch doesn't allow access to its database except from local host for security reasons so yes to make sonic database accessible from gui tools we will have to do some configuration in sonic switch but Before we proceed please note the db configuration we are going to do is recommended to be done only on the switches which are used for development and experiments never do this configuration on a switch in production because even a single switch with its db accessible to external applications and secured with just a password might leave your whole network vulnerable let's start now First, let's log in into a Sonic switch. I am using here Broadcom's Enterprise Sonic version 4.0.0. First of all, let's have a look at the file databaseconfig.json. Path is on the screen. If you scroll up a bit it's easily visible that host ips of all the redis servers instances is set to local host so we can change the ip of redis servers to management ip of the switch here and we should be able to access the redis db actually not this is a auto generated file by the entry point of database container of sonic switch using a jinja template Let's inspect the database container by the command docker inspect database and check out the entry point of database container which is a shell script at path user local bin docker hyphen database hyphen init dot sh To have a look into this file first let's get into docker container shell of sonic database by executing the command docker exec hyphen it database bash database here is the container name now open entry point in vi editor scroll to the top name space variable here remains empty hence intfc or interface variable is set to loop back address by default let's hard code this variable to management that is interface at 
below in the file ginger template is read to create database underscore config dot json file let's open the template file and verify that placeholders for host name are variables named host underscore ip instead of any hardcoded ip as appearing on the screen At the end, exit the database container shell and restart database container by command docker restart database. Once database container is started, check the file database config.json once again. This time, host name is updated with the management IP of the switch. That's what we wanted. Now the database should be accessible from outside the switch as well. To access the Sonic DB, let's have a look at tools available. Here you may find several CLI and GUI tools available to interact with Redis database. As we are more interested in GUI tools, here specifically we will have a look into Redis Insight and Redis Commander. First, let's install Redis Commander on a host. Redis Commander is a simple client-server based application which can be installed as a container by issuing a simple docker command on the screen. In the docker run command, we have just mapped port 8081 of container to host port 8081. And the option restart hyphen hyphen always will restart the container regardless the exit status indefinitely. Also the container will always start on daemon startup. Hyphen D option detaches the container process and runs container in background and also prints container ID. Once it started, the web portal of Redis commander can be accessed over the browser on port 8081. To add a Redis connection, click on more and then add server. Enter connection display name, host name and port, which I am leaving here to be default. Although there are more than one Redis servers running on the switch on different ports, which we already saw in database underscore config.json file a few minutes ago. Those can also be added by providing their respective ports here. To know the password, log in into the switch and see the file run redis auth passwd. Copy the password and paste it in redis commander. Below there is database index. Actually, single database server instance can host multiple databases identified by indexes. At this moment, we don't know that how many databases are hosted or what are their index numbers on this specific Redis server running on port 6379. Here Redis commander gives us a nice functionality to find all databases on this server. To do that, just press button find used db. Redis commander will find out all db instances. Check all of those which you want to browse. I am selecting all of them here and press connect. 
that's it. All the databases will be listed on left hand bar. Let's open the same file again, database underscore config.json. Just to add here, for better performance, Sonic DB is configured to use Unix sockets instead of TCP sockets. The socket file is mentioned in Unix socket path. Please note instance names and Unix socket file name is same, except additional extension .sock in socket file. To know which indexes are referring to which database, just map instance name under the key instances to instance value in the section databases below in this file. The enclosing key is the name of DB and ID is the index, which was automatically discovered by Redis commander. Also, you may have noticed that in the file database underscore config.json, the instance Redis belongs to many databases. But in Redis commander, we saw only five databases discovered. This is because not all databases mentioned in the file exist or initialized. Redis Commander also comes with integrated CLI, which is available at the bottom of the web page. To execute command on a specific database or index, select respective blue colored tab. Or execute Redis command, select database index. At the end, let's have a quick look into Redis Insight. Redis Insight on the other hand is a desktop application, which is available for all popular operating systems. Installer can be downloaded by providing your basic details and installation is very straightforward. In Redis Insight, a database can be added very similar to Redis Commander, except that here user need to create multiple connections for various database indexes running on a single instance manually. Here I liked Redis commander where you just click find use db button and it retrieves all databases available on a single database server instance automatically. Redis insight also comes with integrated Redis CLI as Redis commander. But Redis Insight also comes with some advanced analytical functions found on the left hand bar. For development of telemetry projects like Monsoon, where we just need to read Redis database, I found Redis commander to be sufficient. Also because of its property to run at a single place and access anywhere. On the other hand, developers of applications which perform CRUD operations on Redis DB, Redis Insight or other tools which provide more features than just DB browsing may be helpful. Hope you find the video informative. Please share your valuable feedback in comments.